in the brain, there are bazillion cells. There's probably a hundred thousand different types of them, and they're doing a million different things at any given time. We need to know more about how the brain is put together. We need multiple approaches to understand the anatomy of how the brain is wired at many different levels. Our goal in the Genie Project is to make tools in order to look at the brain at a level that was just not possible with individual electrode recordings in the past. What's really important about our effort here in the Genie Project as well as at Genelia is to bring together people uh, who are the tool developers and the technological innovators with those people who apply the tools in studying neurobiology, neuroanatomy, and circuit dynamics in the same building um, with the same mission focus, mapping the brain and understanding more about functional circuitry um, at the neuron by neuron level. It's a new way of doing science. And we think of ourselves in part as a hybrid model between academic science and um, small startup biotech science. The projects, they typically start small until it figures out that maybe it's a good idea and maybe it's gonna work. Then we go big and then, you know, takes about two years till we, you know, totally crush it and we have our product. Calcium rushes in and out of neurons as uh, neurons spike, as they fire. We screen for new types of fluorescent proteins that detect neuronal activity based on calcium in fly neurons, in mouse neurons, in fish neurons. Our calcium indicator, GCAMP, detects increases and decreases in calcium in neurons. We need the neurons to blink, and we need to be able to see when the neurons are active. The better the calcium indicators get, the more sensitive they are at being able to pick out things that we didn't even see before. GCAMP is expressed in every single neuron of this fish's brain. So what you're getting is a moving snapshot of the activity of an entire zebrafish brain. This is a single neuron inside the mouse brain expressing GCAMP6. GCAMP6 is our new product. We set out to make a tool that was going to let us understand all neural coding at the level of output, spike or no spike. We achieved that goal. What the GCAMP6 indicators do that previous indicators did not is they're reflecting every single spike that's being uh, fired by every neuron that you can look at. It's this electrical depolarization where it's zap, zap, zap. We want to nearly 100% of the time catch every single spike. GCAMP6 does that in almost all cell types. What blew my mind, and I didn't really see this coming, is, and this is perhaps even more impactful than just detecting every spike, is that now what you're getting is synaptic activity. So this really went beyond my wildest expectations. Calcium is everywhere, so of course calcium is at the synapse. It turns out even in these tiny, really unfathomably small compartments, GCAMP6 is really showing you the calcium waves there too. That's something I didn't even really see coming. For the first time, the sensitivity of the GCAMP6 indicator really lets the user start to see not only the activity of the neurons themselves, but the connections and the communications between these neurons really at a widespread scale through large parts of the brain. GCAMP6 is in hundreds of labs um, around the world um, and we're very pleased that we're able to help other researchers advance their research. I think it's the kind that really do, will make a difference uh, across the board from cellular molecular stuff that we do to systems neuroscience. Almost certainly this couldn't have happened in a regular ac academic setting. They needed the way to not only do the molecular biology, that would have been feasible, but they needed a way to then quickly test it at various levels. And that was built into this Genie project, that it would go into actual neurons and go into circuits and in vivo and really see the true proof of the pudding is when you put it through all the tests, is it still useful to all the levels or not? And that's, no one lab anywhere could really do that this probe would allow us access to a regime that we couldn't see before. The 
immense sensitivity of the GCAMP-6 indicators reveal the symphony of every single neuron in the brain that you're looking at. We can now start to listen to these little harmonies that are being played on the synapses and you know start to really address what's known as as neural computation. Its ability to pull out all this activity of the cell bodies and the synapses and connections that that feed information in and out of them really is going to go a long way in driving efforts to map the brain.